girl Serene. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. Cold, but good. Anywho, so today I want to come with a topic that most people probably don't want to hear, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway, about how I feel about it anyway. And um And that topic is us um, basically that topic is about um, the African American woman. And uh, what I have to say is I've been seeing a lot of um, videos, um, articles I've read, and um, all dealing with the black woman. I even read this one article that a white woman wrote. And if I can um, refine it to give you her name, I will. But the article basically, she breaks down in the article that when an African-American woman um, goes missing or murdered, it doesn't make it to the news as much as if it's a white woman that's murdered or kidnapped. Because if it's a white woman, the world rallies around trying to find her versus if it's a black woman, they really don't pay too much attention to it or care to rally behind finding her. And she called it the, um, what she called it? The white woman wash, I believe is what she called it. And, um, I agree with her because you see so many, um, of the African-American women that's missing or murdered, on the Cleveland Remembrance page, which is a page on um, Instagram. But half, more than half of those women have never been even mentioned on the news, the actual news, as if the crimes never happened. On top of the fact that I don't, <laughs> we got so many unsolved murders or and uh, missings that it's not even funny. And it's like, um, this is a perfect example of what I be trying to explain to my son and my nephews when it comes to rappers, movies, the reality TV shows, all of these things that depicted black women as just loud mouth drama queens liars or whores and it's all well it's fiction or it's just a song or it's just a movie or it's just a joke no it's just contributing to what already is um been put pinned against us since we was kidnapped from um, Africa and brought over here and the soon you know, as soon as we got on the ship, um they was we were labeled. And the thing is, I don't think people that a lot of them play attention to the fact that we have to deal with receiving the abuse from our own kind and then the rest of the world too. So we getting it from all sides, all factors in the business world, in, in the, um, anything that we do. And then to top it off, we have nerves to have inside beefing within the woman, women against women. <laughs> like, it's just getting ridiculous. And I feel like women are the first ones that need to wake up that number one, we need to quit fighting with each other. That that's the first thing we need to quit doing. We need to fight, quit fighting with each other and come together. Number one, I feel like the biggest bone of contention with um, 
women against women is men. Period. I don't feel that we need to maintain a um, comp competition status towards each other. There is enough wealth, man, and earth out here for everyone to have their own and enjoy it. Seriously. It really is. You do not have to go through having to stab each other in the back, put down the next woman, or any of that to achieve anything you're trying to achieve. I think that's the first thing women need to wake up and realize. Because um, it's, it's, it's getting, it's ridiculous. Like we, it's, we're contributing to our own attacks in a lot of ways. We really are. And then you have some women out here that feel, okay, well, I'm going to be whatever it is he want me to be. Why not just be a woman? Just be you. Just just be you. Because the thing is, the same way you can't tell a man how to be a man, a man can't tell a woman how to be a woman. He can tell you what he like and don't like, and if that's not you, you need to let that go and move on to somebody who likes what you are. Seriously. I'm just saying. <laughs> Save yourself a whole world of dramafication and changing yourself for a man that's not even going to stay there because the real you always going to come out. No matter how much you try to change or bury yourself, eventually it's you're going to pop out. Because there's nothing more freeing than being your, yourself, than being you. I would just really love to see my fellow sisters come together. I really would. I don't know if it would ever happen. I will pray to God it does, but and if it ever do, oh, can you imagine the things we could accomplish together? Man, look here. We already know we have the power to do it. It is some lovely and beautiful sisters out here just doing it. And um, come on now. It's, it's possible. We can do it. <laughs> you ain't got to bash each other, kill each other, stab each other in the back to do it. You can do it without all of that. Put each other down. It, there ain't no point of that. Putting somebody down ain't, ain't never help them accomplish a thing. I promise you. But, um, yeah. I think we need to um, we need to really start looking out for each other more than we do because in the end we really do need each other. And the funny thing is, <laughs> men can stick together all day, even from opposite races. Men is men, women on the other hand, nope. That's something we definitely need to change. We need to learn to stick together too. We really do. But um, that's all I wanted to come with you today that um to get off my little old chest here but if you made it to the end of my video please um like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be aware of every time i upload a video i would greatly appreciate it thank you